retired top editor of the Philippine Daily Inquirer slams the management's decision to enter into what he called an unprincipled compromise deal to settle a libel case filed by a radio broadcaster over their pork barrel scam stories. Former executive editor Jose Maria Nolasco says the Inquirer management got suckered into accepting a compromise deal that is unprincipled and lopsidedly favorable to DZBB radio broadcaster Melo Del Prado. In an interview with Rappler on Wednesday, Nolasco said Inquirer faced more serious libel cases in the past, yet the management did not back down and succumb to such unprincipled deals. A day after receiving the draft of the deal last February 21, Nolasco sent a letter to Inquirer Chairman Raul Palabrica questioning the management's decision. Nolasco didn't receive any response. Of the five respondents, Nolasco and two others refused to sign the deal and were told they should find their own lawyers to pursue the case. Nolasco adds the story underwent meticulous vetting under the late editor-in-chief Leti Jimenez Magsano. Under the management back compromise deal, Inquirer agreed to issue a newspaper front page apology to Del Prado, post an apology on Inquirer.net's main page, with the article's comments feature disabled, provide Del Prado with 1.5 million pesos worth of advertising space, and purge 10 specific articles that link Del Prado to the scam from the archives. In 2014, Del Prado filed a libel case against Nolasco and four others over the newspaper's reports on the 10 billion peso pork barrel scam. The Inquirer report mentions Del Prado as among the media personalities who supposedly received advertising money from the National Agribusiness Corporations or NAPCOR, a vehicle for the diversion and misuse of lawmakers' discretionary funds. Businesswoman Janet Napoles was the mastermind of the pork barrel scam.